guys it's me roshan again and today i am with a video in which i am going to introduce you with one of my countrymen uh, who took part in alibaba model competition last month and he got selected among top 60 and i am really excited to meet him today so let's get started guys he is ravindra who is from my country nepal and, and he is the one who participated in alibaba uh, gate competition and it's a kind of business model and in which uh, people from all over the world who stays in china and studies in china or like lives in china had participated in this competition and he has been uh, selected as like top 60 among all of the, those candidates who had participated in this competition and i think he is one of the entrepreneurs of future so let's get started and it, let me introduce him uh, ali ali and he is from afghanistan and he has been supporting us from beginning uh, with this project so Ravindra, uh, thank, you, thank you thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> so can you say something about the other program and project uh, yeah the product it's about the travel, it's about the tools and travels, and uh, how to say it. Yeah, we, we have a lot of applications about tools and travels, but in concise way, I'm, I'm just gonna say that it's a live streaming app where you can do where you can do a live tour. Simply, it's a live tour, live review, live tour, everything on your phone screen. Uh, what's your opinion on this program? The project is really awesome. It's never happened before and we need it a lot. Like right now a lot of people want to go some new place and discover and explore new things. But they don't know how to find the exact things which they need it or they like it. So people need to go to Google or some search engine to search what they like. But you know search engine is gonna bring everything to people. Even some people use map, but map is not a complete thing. So we need such an uh, app to specify every location and detect your location and show you around you what, what's good and what you're interested in. So you made us a kind of app and, and what's the name of the app? I, uh, right now we are using Bluedot as the official name. Uh, and we also send this is there any kind of I reason know. why you named this app Blue Dot? Uh, yeah, yeah there's, <laughs> a, there's a reason for this Bluedot. The blue dot is the uh, is word won by won by Carl Sagan. Uh, during 1990s, when the Voyager one was leaving our solar system, the Carl Sagan requested NASA to take a picture of Earth. And at that time, uh, the Voyager one took the picture of Earth, and the Earth was just a pale blue dot hanging in a ray of light. So I thought that so I, I use this name as a sense of inclusiveness because. When, some, when the picture is taken from so, sort of far away, the, everything seems like a dot. I mean, the, all the humanities who existed till, until now, whatever done in this world, whoever the great, great people have lived here, is just in a blue dot. It's just in a small dot. So I use this as a sense of inclusiveness. So, like, it seems awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. And, and what kind of features does your app provide us? Like, if, if anyone uses mm -hmm. your app, mm -hmm. so what kind of facilities are they going to get from the app? Okay. So, I'll tell you that it's, about, it's, it's all about the traveling. Uh, so what's different is that, how are we different than other live, live, like, other live applications, other, other live streaming applications? We are just a different that here we provide you a passport to guide. You can you can really travel any parts of the world. Right now we are not on that phase, but we are starting from Nepal. So in the beginning phase, we can open our app. Somebody want to travel any any parts of Nepal, or you want to know about any parts of Nepal, you can just uh, you just you, you just need to put on the, put the location, and there you will get the name of the person. And you can just contact him and show the places around there. I was, yesterday I was really shocked like your experience when you went to Wuhan. Can you tell about your experience? Yeah, in 2015 it was like that time I, I, I don't speak Chinese and I went to <laughs> Wuhan. Yeah. I stay nine days in Wuhan but I don't know where to go. So what I was doing, like me and my friend, we were searching the map for like 10, 20, 30 minutes mm -hmm. to which place we should visit in Wuhan. Mm -hmm. And we was going to the place what was looking in the map and what was in real thing, it was totally different. And 
this how we really need something with exactly. this app. Yeah. So, so you think that this app is really awesome? Right? Yeah, it's awesome. It can help a lot of people in the future, right? Yeah, and also you know the tourism industry is a big industry, yeah. and every year million people travel around the world. But most of these money go to the packet of you know, uh, tourism companies. And some of these tourism, tourism companies, they cannot provide the supplies to customer. I think customer, and you know, one thing with this kind of company, uh, the customer is like not free. When, I'm, when someone goes to a tourism company, they are not free to walk everywhere. They should follow the rules, the rules of the company. But this app can give this freedom to the customer and the guy which is good. Probably. So you're free, you see everything in your phone and you manage all the things by yourself. You contact the local guide person from the app. Yeah. They take you anywhere which you want, which you're interested in. Yeah. So this is good about this app. This is totally different with the other uh, uh, tourism companies. Thank you. You're familiar with these things. <laughs> so it's okay. a kind of live tour, right? Yeah. You can Let me also say one experience that one of my reviewer was talking about. I, I, I was posting a question here to Phil, and lots of people feel, feel the question here. And I, the one comment I like that uh, one friend posted that he was going to uh, he was going to Malaysia. And, uh, he had booked a ticket from uh, I mean the uh, use of the hotel in Malaysia. Okay. And when he reached there, the hotel was not the same as, as it was shown in the app. It was still in construction. <laughs> so uh, it, it is the most, uh, it is very embarrassing. So right? till now, a lot of apps are just faking out, yeah, just right? faking out. <laughs> they are not real. Yeah, I can't say that. Well, yeah, maximum people are having this trouble. And I think that uh, people are gonna, uh, people gonna solve this, uh, this problem by using our app, because you really can get the live review of every place you want. Before you go there, I think it's uh, it's, nece it's most a necessity. We value our time, so they can get live review of foods. Yeah, whatever. You, you, well, how you, if you can convince your guides to do live review of, of food, hotel, streets, just do it. It's up to you. That's nice. Yeah, pay as you go. So, like, what kind of support do you want from this video? Uh, the sober, I just uh, wanted to know that we are working in this app and uh, this is also part of uh, Alibaba because we, we have to submit and review how we are doing, what the progress. So it's really important for me. Thank you all guys. Because <laughs> I have to submit this review to the Alibaba. Yeah, yeah uh, the guys, I, I, wanted, I wanted to request you to fill the form. Uh, it will be given in the link below. And, uh, we will also send some of our, of our app PPT so you guys can get good, uh, good, I mean, the good introduction on what we are going to do. So guys, please form, please fill up the form that is uh, given in the description below, and please help our country make and save Nepal and save tourism in Nepal. So thank you very much. Thank you guys. <laughs>